no. Fuck you. Come on. Come the fuck on. That is ridiculously stupid! Come on! This is it's just 3D Catherine. animated this too! This is just Catherine! She's 3D animated too! This is just Catherine! They made her 3D animated by the way. I can tell! And she's bleeding out the eyes. No she's not, that's her fucking ha what? nails! What's going on? So we're getting Junko again. <laughs> told you this game ending is insane. Stop. I told you the game ending was insane. This is just a Catherine boss. This is just a Catherine boss. Continue. Uh, am I hallucinating? I, I know anything goes here, but this, this is clearly not fucking okay. The music is also the same as when Nagito died. I see. So that's your reaction to seeing an extra large high school girl. <laughs> but are they really that big? Don't you think they're pretty small? Wait, they're wait, she actually has a valley girl voice now? Mm-hmm. Holy shit, yes. <laughs> She's way too huge. Yes! Because she wasn't Valley Girl before. Mm -hmm. But the final boss in a certain action game is much bigger. You know, that game, Knifarella. It's not. Hi. I see, I see. An estimated bus size of 15 meters, huh? My boobs are hopelessly huge. Sure. Hey, hey, want me to squish you in between them? Big boobs feel good, you know. I get fucking crushed! <laughs> Again, some people like that. If this was a pandering fan service game full of pretty girls, there'd be a CG close-up of my cleavage. But that that already happened. <laughs> Too bad. This isn't a fan service game. Of course, since it's not an action game either, you won't even get to experience the refreshing sensation of battling an enormous final boss. <laughs> so fucking hopeless! This is Monokuma's true identity? We, we have to deal with this thing? It's also virtual Junko, too. Mm -hmm. I'm shocked you yeah. me this thing. Oh, you're so Jesus Christ, they added more facial expressions mm -hmm. to her and kept them. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Why? I already had to deal with Juko in the fucking last game. Because this game is better and bigger and stronger and faster and smoother. <laughs> yes, best uh, words you could have picked that were smoother. Or did her personality change? Smoother. I get easily bored of my personality. Like, I already got bored of my personality who gets easily bored. So, so Nagito was talking to Junko then. And that's when Fuyuhiko would say, It's too damn sweet Maybe he was. Bored, right? I'm pretty that's sure a, he did. But then how the fuck does he have her arm in that scene? If he's talking to her? Or maybe he's talking to her sister. Wait, that what? works. I have plenty of data on you guys, so it's so easy for me to know what you're all thinking. Yeah. You are not bored at all! I got bored of getting bored. Jeez. Even when I'm dead, I still get bored. It sucks. Mm-hmm. Makoto Naegi. Yeah, really. Chiaki. <laughs> it's totally Byakuya, because he's the imposter, right? You, Junko he could just Enoshima? become a giant test whenever he wanted to. Did you say Junko Enoshima? Isn't she dead? It's true. I did end up dying the last time. Uh, I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean to go so fast. I, I couldn't help it, you know? It was my first time. Also, so they added they added a sexual personality mm -hmm. to her. Okay. Jeez, stupid. You're the one who made me go. And why is someone who died here right now? It's a Do video you know game! Artificial intelligence called Alter Ego? 
exuberance. We are now an AI. We have transcended humanity. There, there, there's Posh. Oh. There's Posh Junko. Oh. Oh. What AI? Stop saying all this crazy bullshit. So literally, Hajime is the only one who knows everything. Yep. Then where, why the fuck were they there just around? Because one person doesn't have a majority vote. Oh. You see, my personality is like this because I'm the type who dies easily, right? That's why I made my own AI program while I was still alive. And then someone uploaded me into this Neo World program. And that's how Alter Ego Junko hopelessly appeared in front of you guys. It makes too much sense. This insane bitch is Junko and Oshima. I mean, she is an insane bitch. She is an insane bitch. That's kind of her likability. She's her just, ability. She's the ultimate insane bitch. The ultimate insane bitch. She's the ultimate psycho insane bitch. Mm -hmm. She's responsible for everything. Everything. The destruction of Host Peak Academy, the destruction of the world. You. The one who took over the Neo world program and forced us to kill each other. I also like how... She's talking through a fucking cell phone. Well, not that. A flip phone at that. Not that. They also changed her design a little bit. Uh, but what I'm getting at, what I'm getting at is, is that the way that they presented the evidence makes it easy for people who've never played the first game to get into it, yet you know way much more if you've already played the first game. Yeah. Way much more. Way much more. Way mucho mucho. <laughs> This is all this bitch is doing. <laughs> I love how I love how vulgar he is because he's so pissed off. He's like, you son of a bitch. You're is a bitch. Is Sonya now. gonna pitch? <laughs> is Sonya's gonna pitch? <laughs> I meant I meant curse. Sonya's gonna pitch. I'm like a say, like a fucking baseball player. Like Leon! <laughs> one one zero three seven. It all she comes full circle. Into Leon, just spoilers. Spoiler alert. She explodes into Leon's she being. She explodes into Leon. <laughs> No, into his no, being. She explodes into Leon. That's one. That's one I'm sticking with. <laughs> Even though we know she's Junko. Don't get cautious and think stuff like, "What can we do?" I mean, we're all ultimate despair here. Each and every one of our classmates looked at us like we're a bunch of loogies on the side of the road. So let's all be friends. No. <laughs> Hell no. Leon, they hate me, and I was thinking of you guys when I tampered with the graduation program. But they still hate me. Huh? Tampered with the graduation program? Remember what that fake Makoto said earlier? About what happens to you when you graduate, right? I feel like you guys weren't getting a big enough reward for graduating. So, I decided to modify what happened so it's something exciting and unique. Just like a game. Uploading your game memories into your real bodies is fine, but letting your friends stay dead just sucks. Oh no. She's gonna upload herself into someone else though. Fuck you! She's gonna upload herself into the people who died! You keep reading into that. No! That's what- That's why I decided to resurrect them. It's not just that. It's too easy. This is the new graduation program I'm offering. Resurrect? Hey, are, are you serious? Can you really do that? I mean, if you give her that much power, they're gonna nerf her eventually. <laughs> it was like real yeah! What the fuck? <laughs> what? What? The oh, fuck? it's terror. It's not terror. It is terror. The graduation program is the core part of this game. <laughs> it was protected with a lot. It is the terror. Is either that or Fumi? No, I think it's just Country Bumpkin. I think it's worse than Teru Teru. <laughs> it took me a long time. I felt so much despair about how useless I am. She's girl. She's girl E. She's the one that talks e. like this with her voice. She's girl E now. She's got this. She's got the. When is she gonna become deep voice girl? E girl D. Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> Christ. They they added more personalities to her. And they gave her an advanced personality matrix. Well, one advantage of being an AI is that I got smarter with computers. Before that, every time a computer froze, I used to put it in the microwave and nuke it. Show of hands, class. How long do you think it took for me to modify They're smart, Junko. 
Oh, that's what the timer was. What? How long it took her to modify the graduation program? Oh! Oh, shit. Did you forget? You gotta answer questions to progress the story. That's the rule of this game, right? By the way, I'll give you a clue. You guys were always watching time slip away at a certain place. So you're not gonna tell us until we answer that. We already know. We're completely at her mercy. I mean, she says she could resurrect, she like I said. She should have picked Mercy. But she was Mercy! In fact, she was probably all of the characters at the same time. How long did it take her? Well, it was clearly... Our cottages! The Monomy House. The Monomy House. The countdown at Jabberwock Park. That's the only place we can think of. That's the only place we consistently watch that has anything to do with time. Then that countdown represented the time that was needed to modify the program. How brilliant! Slightly wrong! <laughs> You're totally wrong about that tricky timer. Wrong? Then what was it? Where should I put this? I was just... goofing around? I mean, isn't stuff you don't understand exciting even though you don't get it? It's kind of like superhero cosplayers, or someone else's designs of alien life and stuff, right? It, it was just for show? In the end, it was meaningless. Does that fill you with despair? Like getting booted from a game server? No. Does getting booted from a game server even- Fill you with despair? Fill you with despair? It might get you frustrated, I don't know. I'd be pissed off, not despairing. Yeah, no. Like, oh no, I gotta go kill myself because I got booted from the Overwatch server. Yeah. <laughs> in the middle of a competitive game. <laughs> I mean, if it was in the middle of a competitive game, I'd be pissed off. I'd be super pissed. Yeah. I wouldn't be despairing. No, no, you'd get so pissed I'd be off like, that oh you no, just... that 50 SR. You just, you get so pissed off that you just go take the gun that you so have with you by your side at all times, clearly, and just go to the next room and just shoot someone. That's how oh, much no, despair you have. Oh no, that 50 SR means one person for every SR I lost. <laughs> 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 That's definitely what would happen. That's actually what Junko would probably think of. One person for every SR lost. Oh Dude. no, I lost 50 SR. Well, that goes 50% of the people in the campus. That's not the number <laughs> that I meant to say. One person 50. equals percent. <laughs> 50 there's percent. There's only 100 people on this campus. No, there's only 100%. It's fine. 100%. <laughs> there's only 100% of people. <laughs> Predictable crap like that. Just what did you expect at this stage of the game? She's she's seriously messed up. Welcome to Junko Bick. Huh, Welcome to Junko way, Land. The countdown implied. Would you like to bounce on her chest pillows? Did you ever make up your own silly rules like don't step off the white line when you cross the road? No. Mm. I stayed in between the white lines. I kind of- Or I just walked across the road. Yeah, we- I kind of stayed on the- don't step off the white line. I did that once. Or twice, or- I don't know, a lot of times But then you were stuck on a single white line the entire time. But then again, I would always also, like, walk along the sidewalk. On the- on the edge of the when sidewalk. When you cross the road. Yeah, no, and just in general. Just walk along the edge of the sidewalk. I used the sidewalk to cross the road. Yep. I was testing myself to see if I could get you guys into the graduation program before the timer reached zero. Enough. Please stop. You'd be so disappointed. It's totally true. I had a hard time manipulating the program. While you guys were at the beach making wrinkly dog faces, I was working so hard on my own, you know? Hey, enough of this pointless crap. Are you seriously going to resurrect everyone who died? Like I said, it's e It's just a game after all. Yeah, just a game. Yeah. Each and everything that happened in this world was just an event within the game. There's no way anything that occurred in the game could affect the real world. That's bullshit. What you're saying now is completely different from what you said before. You said whether or not it's a lie. The moment we feel something is real, it becomes real. The game where you throw my words back at me is over. So you don't really have to worry about it. Jeez. Fine. I won't worry about it. Hey, who fucking cares about logic? As long as everyone who died comes back to life, that's good enough. But if we do not understand the principles behind it, then we do not even know He's if it is really despair. possible. Anything goes in this world. You've seen that happen so many times already, right? 
Well, if that's the case, you shouldn't have that eye patch on now, now shouldn't you? No, well, you shouldn't. Well, if a high school girl can get huge, then it's not crazy if the dead can come back to life, right? If she's saying that's how she tampered with the computer program, how are we supposed to respond to that? That's right. That's why you should finish this game and go back to living a normal life in the real world. Uh-uh. If we go back, what do you get out of it? Hmm? She's gonna upload herself into the dead bodies. What benefit do you get by making us return to the real world? As long as we don't know what it is... Man, that's so annoying. You're so petty. It's not like you're a housewife living on a tight budget. All I want is to put on this graduation performance in a more dramatic way. Well, if you doubt me, you don't have to go back. Is that what you want? Not to go back? Oh, hold on a sec. We're obviously going to get out of here. If it'll bring our dead friends back, it's all we can do. I don't th think about it, though. If it brings our dead friends back, it won't bring them back the same way that you left. Goal for like forever. Because we had that goal, we were able to endure those killings. But everyone can go back together, so there's no reason to hesitate. You, you are right. There is no way we can choose to stay here after all we've been through. Just as expected from the winners of this killing school trip, your will to live is truly ultimate. Wonderful. That's just more reason for you to execute your role as devices. Devices. You you just probably fucked up your plan by saying that. Okay, now let's stop stalling for time with exposition and hurry up and do it. Now then, why don't you guys just go ahead and answer with the touch panel that's in front of you? I'm gonna do it. I'm seriously gonna do it. If you don't hurry up, I'm seriously really gonna do it. You don't have to say, who are you talking to? It doesn't concern a chump like you, Hajime. Chump? Don't worry about it. Everything's going to be over once we press this. So we just have to press graduate, right? No. If we do that, we can go home, right? I can go back. With this, I can finally go back. He's right. With this, we can finally go back. This will be the end. And all our friends who died will be saved. That's way beyond what we expected. And it's safe to say this is a good ending, right? I mean, but press everything but graduate is probably the, just to see if there's alternate endings or if there's I like don't, a specific thing. I don't think repeat. I think repeat is like a separate option. I don't know. I have not pressed different buttons than the one that I know is right. So. I got. It. Whoa! What? Press it. This is. Track. I had a feeling that was. What the heck? That guy from earlier is back again. It's not again. This time, it's the real one. Real? I'm Makoto Naegi. Makoto Naegi of the Future Foundation. It's real. I'm sorry I'm late. I actually wanted to come rescue you sooner, but... Thanks to the virus infecting the Neo World program, I wasn't able to enter. Just when the chumps are in a pinch, he's suddenly able to enter for reasons unknown. And thus, the main character gallantly appears. You're gonna flood that phone you're in, you're gonna drown. Or be filled with despair somehow. Screaming yourself because of it. Did you also time my arrival? No, it doesn't matter. I'm going to save everyone, and then I'm going to settle this between us once and for all. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Were you able to get here, Makoto? Since I used my tricks to hack into the program, he must have hacked in with his tricks too, right? That's also how you kept your memories, right? Even though you haven't aged a day, just like these guys. If I hadn't, then I wouldn't have been able to save everyone. Don't you understand? It doesn't matter how you got here. As long as you're here, you'll be treated like one of my students. Which means, you must respect my authority. I already know the risks of being here. 
<laughs> you always had such a reckless hope. I love you so much that you disgust me. Hey, just what do you mean by trap? What is Juko's trap? It doesn't matter. We can finally end this, you know? If we get out of here, it'll all resolve itself peacefully. After all this, I can't let you get in the way. The fact that you guys are even thinking like that is Juko's trap. Huh? She's lying to you about your dead friends coming back to life. Hey, little old me. Who do we trust? If you knew Juko's true goal, you'd know she's lying. You know her goal? Yeah. Juko's goal is to convert the Hope Restoration Program to the Despair Restoration Program. <sighs> Despair Restoration Program? As part of the graduation program, your avatar's memory and consciousness is uploaded into your real body. However, none of us expected that any of the avatars would get deleted. Junko has taken advantage of that opportunity. She intends to use her version of Alter Ego, the AI she stole my friend's skill to create, and upload herself into the bodies of everyone whose avatar was deleted. Told you! I didn't say anything because I didn't... You I, said let the game explain it, and I'm like, dude... Well, the game did explain it. Well, I, dude... I didn't say you were wrong. I Well, I pieced it together due to the fact that she had an arrow underneath where it was transferring the, the body stuff. She's gonna transfer herself into the other bodies, and that's how she was gonna become alive. I'd piece that together because of the fucking diagram that was shown. That's up to you to do. It's not. I didn't say we're wrong. I just said wait for the game. I didn't say you were thinking I was wrong. I'm just saying I told you. I knew already though. I know, <laughs> but I told you. I pieced it together. I'm a good boy. Yes, you are. I just couldn't congratulate you yet because the game's not over. Also, isn't it weird that you're congratulating me and yet I'm older than you? Yeah, but I beat the game already. <laughs> Fair enough. Then, everyone who died isn't gonna come back to life. Saw that coming. They're gonna be taken over by Junko? Including Nekomaru okay. and Peko. Like the real world, once an avatar is deleted from this virtual world, it can't be recovered. It's actually impossible to revive them. That doesn't mean I was lying. And, and even if they're Oops. overwritten by my alter ego, it doesn't mean they'll be a completely different person. The data of everyone who died is stored within me, so I'm sure I can convincingly act out their personalities. Don't mess with me. Mm. In fact, I have a lot of data on Fukuhiko, so I know some things that'll make you happy. I can play a version of Peko that's more to your liking than she ever was. Mm. Said, Don't fucking mess with me! <laughs> Operation Junkify All Mankind begins here! Yep, Junkify All Mankind. She just uploaded herself into everybody. After uploading my alter ego into everyone who died, I'm gonna take over the Future Foundation's headquarters. And then, eventually, there's gonna be a whole lot of me's all over the world! God damn it. I mean, that's already a thing at cons. There's already a whole lot of you over there, so if, if effectively you have taken over. With this, my despair utopia, where you can despair as you please, Junko Land, will be complete. <laughs> She's so creative with her naming. Junko Land, yeah, but no. Look, they're all... Hold on, uploading yourself into everyone does not make them look like you. No, no, it's fine. Everyone will look exactly like Junko. Everyone. Just because the AI will reconstruct their bodies or something? Sure. From the inside out? Sure. Oh, yeah! Our dreams are expanding and... <laughs> the voice actress is clearly having way too much fun with this. Is your goal? Then why didn't you just kill all of us? If you did, you could have taken over all of our bodies. Wouldn't that have been more convenient for you? No, because then who's gonna... No, that's only after they leave. Is that what you want me to do? Is it still too late to do that? No. There's a reason Junko couldn't do that. That's why she made you guys kill each other. Yeah, she couldn't interfere. She's an observer. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Yeah, she couldn't do it. <laughs> there wasn't enough time. That I see. Teacher can't, uh, can't. Yeah, it 
it's because of the, the teacher school cannot trip interfere rules. with the students. Even a monster like her has to follow the rules of the school trip? Junko usurped Usami's authority as an observer, and her role as your teacher. However, according to the rules of the school trip, even Usami had to follow up. That's why when Junko took over her position, she had no choice but to follow the rules as well. were protecting us? Man, I was so annoyed. I have the authority to add rules, but no authority to delete rules. Oh well, even if I could have deleted rules, I was still busy with my whole taking over your body plan. So you made us kill each other, because you couldn't kill us yourself. Is that how you were able to increase the number of bodies you can take over? Like I said, I personally didn't care about the outcome of the killings. How dare you look down on us! Don't what would have happened to Mekumaru, though? Because he wouldn't have been a robot in real life, would he? No. No. Because he maybe would have thought he was a robot, but... His soul, his will. And well, I think this would have been revealed, so he would have known he wouldn't be a robot when he got back, probably. Uh -huh. The graduation program probably already, re change. always revealed that through Usami. Oh, hey, there's the face. I can't even. I, how does she make that? Face? You. There we go, I did I it, Chris. Never, ever fucking forgive you! My name is Really? Joe really? Dude, it's just this. <laughs> it's just this. It's just this. It's My all over your face. My name is and I like depressing shit. You're doing this. It's the whole face. Mm. It's the whole face. My name is Junko. Okay, you're like depressing shit. <laughs> Can you stop sounding like a <laughs> fucking nasal? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! You lucky bastard! Oh my god! You almost dumped water all over your computer. Oh, that would have been shitty. Mid recording. That would have been shitty. Oh, it, it, it fucking barely missed everything. Oh my god! Oh my you lucky god! Lucky sob. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Problem solved. Just hoping you didn't spit take it. Problem solved. So that's your trap. You try to make us choose graduate. So you can take over everyone's body with the graduation program. We had to delete you first before you can get out. How the fuck do you delete the AI controlling it? Because Junko Enoshima is the true ultimate despair. She doesn't yearn for any kind of future at all. She fills every person she meets with despair. That's my Makoto. You understand me so well. For me, despair is not a goal or a set of principles or a lifestyle or even an instinct. It's what defines me as Junko Enoshima. It's just my characterization. It's kind of That's hard to why imagine. I'm able it, to pursue despair with such purity. So you're saying you only exist to fill people with despair? For example, want to hear about a beautiful memory that even I, who gets bored easily, still remember fondly? Picture thousands of fools who are madly in love with me, dying one by one like insects doused with bug spray. And the best part is, they did it to themselves, you know? Thousands of humans falling like dominoes! Oh, that memory is so beautiful! It made my brain melt! Yeah, about that. Does that story have a happy ending? Probably not. It's Junko's story. Why would it have a happy ending? Nagito is a million and no, no, thousands of people. Nagito himself is just thousands of people. Are you talking about the Reserve Corps' mass suicide? Oh yeah. I totally forgot you're a survivor of the Reserve Corps. By the way, I'm so sorry for your loss. <laughs> mass suicide? What is she talking about? An incident where 2,357 people from the reserve course all killed themselves. Junko probably made them do it. 2,357 people? That's an outrageous number! You don't have to be that surprised. You all look like your parents, friends, and lovers all tied at once. It probably it's because they did! Oh, that was so rude of me. There's no way you guys even have meaningful relationships like that anymore. I mean, you're all ultimate despair. You guys have already eaten your fill of despair. I... I do not really know what you are trying to say. 
Junko robs the futures of everyone she interacts with. You ultimate despairs are among her many victims. If someone like me is born, that means the world is yearning for despair. That's wrong. The world isn't yearning for despair. That's the reason we can't let you escape. But if you do that, you guys won't be able to return to the real world, right? Huh? If we choose to graduate to get out of here, the graduation program will act right? If that happens, Junko's alter ego will be uploaded into the bodies of the dead. Does that mean we gotta stay here to keep her from getting out? What, what the heck? Why does it have to be like that? It's such a cruel fate for you guys. But it's awfully convenient for the Future Foundation. They'll be able to keep all the ultimate despairs, including me, trapped in this game forever. No, that's not it! But ultimate despair is hated worldwide, and their lives are no doubt targeted by the Future Foundation. Oh well, if you don't want to acknowledge that, I guess it just can't be helped. Can't be helped. <laughs> LOL! This is nothing to LOL about! Glad you know what that means. But it's so Lots of ironic. <laughs> you came all the way here just to find out that graduating is the wrong choice. Even though you came all this way to win the game. Even though you kept sacrificing your friends to win. <laughs> the goal you guys squirmed to reach was wrong all along. Isn't that just so fucking tragic? Stop it! Soda, you're a dumbass. No, they're Shut all the falling to despair. They're all falling to despair. What about the killings in the class trials? This is all just a meaningless killing game where the ultimate despairs kill off each other? Oh, that... This is too... Don't give up yet! Yeah, come on, ultimate there hope! you guys can get out of here without letting Juko out! No, no, there's no way such a convenient... Is really? Well, that's the first I've heard of it. First, she's heard of it. And that way, even Junko doesn't know. But you know. Oh, I do. I know the thing. It's this. Crap. Wait, what? Oh, right, because we had to. Yeah. That's not it. That's the other thing. Yeah. Fucking. What did he give me? The sh oh yeah. I see. I forgot about that. Are you talking about the shutdown sequence? Shutdown sequence? What is that? It's a hidden command I set up in the Neo World program. H a hidden command? Basically, I never believed the Neo World program was a perfect solution. There was always a possibility that Usami's hope might have made things even worse for you guys. <laughs> Wow. So I prepared a way to shut down the program in case of emergencies. As I recall, you said it was a command that not even the teacher can stop. And that means even Junko can stop it. Dear me, I have an unfortunate announcement to make, class. You cannot activate the shutdown. You... you know about it? More importantly, do you know why? Do you know why you can't activate the shutdown? There is no shutdown sequence. I see. Because there's not enough people? <clears throat> Pay attention, class. According to my information, in order to initiate the shutdown, out of 15 people, more than half of them must press graduate and repeat at the same time. And we only have five. Six. Six people here. Gary Makoto, Am you're I six. Correct? You However, need eight. Out of 15 people, including Makoto, there are only six people here. We need two more people. Even if you want to cheat, I won't let you. The shutdown sequence won't activate unless it knows that different people initiated it. So it's totally impossible. Totally saw through that supposedly hidden command. No need to worry. Even I knew we couldn't activate the shutdown. You still came here when you knew we had no chance of winning? It's not that we have no chance of winning. The only reason I'm here is because there is a chance. 
Then try explaining it to us. What is this chance of winning of what you speak? I believe... Oh, uh, I can't hear you. You gotta speak up since you're so puny. I believe in them. I believe they will definitely come. The rest of them. Yeah! That's something you need to take your time saying. Oh, that's a, that's a, that's a glitch. Fuck no, you. it's not. Yeah, it is. Why? Fuck you, Junko. It's Don't you clearly see the green emanating off of Kyoko? That's because there's a green background in the room. No, yes. no, no. Nope. Try putting yourself in our shoes before you drag us into situations like this. Kyoko! Byakuya! It's not them! It's not them! Prove me. Prove that, Chris. We'd be better off leaving behind someone who jumps to conclusions without listening to our warnings. Uh, I'm sorry. Even though it took some time for two people to enter the program simultaneously, it appears we made it. Hey! What's going on? Why are there more people again? How exciting! I haven't seen these faces in ages! Mm, so I it's don't like think they're fakes. <laughs> okay. Years later. I had to get Junko's explanation, otherwise it would have been fakes. Well, if that's not the case, then yay! Kyoko and Bia Kyoko and Biakia. Bia <laughs> Biakia. I My mean, favorite dagger of a is Biakia. But, but, uh, no, no. His name is Buyakasha. <laughs> Buyakasha. Remember that? I must say, now that I'm seeing her up close, she's much bigger than I remember. Yeah, isn't that right, Biakuya? Biyaka Shaka. And, and you're the real <laughs> you're the real one, so I can't do the button button anymore. Because that was the imposter's mm -hmm. voice. What? What kind of man isn't excited by big women? Once you get some more experience, you'll understand. There's a lot of kinky things you can do with big girls. No, you Her me face twice. is slowly sliding behind the phone. <laughs> it's like, did you say kinky? <laughs> and did you say big girls? <laughs> <laughs> Are you two also from the Future Foundation? No, it's probably not just that. If the Killing School Life is referring you to guys that, are the survivors of the Killing School Life who previously defeated Junko, right? Yeah, that's right. Th there's three of them here now. The former heroes plunging themselves into the game world, ignoring all danger. Jesus, stupids! Making such a suicidal move! Did you really want to see me that badly? Stop being it can't Toko. Be helped. In order to stop you, that suicidal move was our only I choice. I want to see Toko and Hina and Hero. I don't think they show up. I want to see Toko and Hina and Hero. They're too busy having a threesome. I want to see <laughs> them, Joe. My waifu isn't here. <laughs> They're having a threesome. They have to make kids, like in the other ending. But that was just Hina alone. No, no, no. This time Toko, no, Toko is not having the kids. Hina's still having the kids. She's just taking partaking in the threesome. I hate you. <laughs> so how about? There are eight people now. We have enough to activate the shutdown sequence. <laughs> Why are you crying? <laughs> you guys showed up looking all cool and stuff. And now, all the ultimate despairs. <laughs> Again! Just ignore her. As long as we activate the shutdown sequence, it'll be the end of her in this messed up world. In this messed up world? Hey, can I ask you something? If we do shut down the program, what will happen to us? You'll, will you revert back to your old selves? No need to worry. We won't let you get hurt. It's not just that. We want a more detailed explanation. If you shut down the New World program, everything within the program will be deleted. It will obviously delete Alter Ego Junko, along with your avatars here. So you're saying we're going to be deleted too? It doesn't mean you'll be deleted. 
The program will just finish without completing the graduation program. What does that mean for us? Your avatars will not upload, so you will revert to your original state before you entered the program. Mm-hmm. Is there a reason to tell them all that? They have to know everything, or else they won't agree to do it. Hold on a second. If we go back to our original selves before we enter the program... That means you are very- We lose mana coins! We lose mana coins! <laughs> I lose, lose all my, my mana, mana coins! But who cares about that? Aww. I just need to press that. The, the killing will start over. The dead will be revived, Joe. Does that mean we'll go back to being ultimate despair? That's right! Back to being hopelessly controlled by me. When you used to feel despair upon despair. No! Are you fucking serious? Can't you do anything about it? I understand your concern, but this is the only way to stop Junko. It might be a painful decision, but I know you guys will be able to overcome it. That's why, in order to defeat despair, I want you guys to fight alongside us. We still have to fight? I, I thought we finally reached the end! Don't worry. Once you get out, we will do our best to support you. But I thought the Future Foundation wanted to kill every last Ultimate Despair. This is true. Yeah, but they betrayed Ultimate... Wait, not Ultimate it? Despair. Do you mean I'll make sure you don't suffer when I kill you, or...? Of course not. We would never allow that to happen. It's gonna be alright. Your real bodies have just been brainwashed. That's why... I'm pretty sure you'll quickly revert back to the state you're in right now. Can you stop saying cheesy stuff like brainwashed? Washing your brain is like... Really nasty. Shut up. But, but still... Even if our brainwashing is undone... The memories we've made up till now will be erased. Right? So your yeah. stupid infatuation we everything we did on with Sonya will be gone. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what you want. That's the reality. Every meaningless thing that happened here will vanish from your minds. Mm -hmm. That does include her. Does our memory of Rosie oh. forget that she ever existed, right? He's talking about Chiaki. That happens. Does it really mean that she, an existence confined to this world, is really going to disappear. She risked her life to protect us, and we won't even remember she existed. Memory's not all that'll go back to normal. If you've lost a limb, like Nagito, it'll still be gone when... <gasps> Please stop! Going back to reality in that condition? That's like a bad joke. You're not joking. That is your past. Nobody can escape their past. We, we don't know anything about that past! Hey, why... why did we become ultimate despair in the first place? I asked the same thing in the real world, but nobody would give me an answer. It seems my teachings were quite thorough. However, if you ask me... People who claim to stuff like hope, talent, or admiration are truly the weakest. Huh? Guys who desperately want to reach the top. They don't think about what'll happen when they're pushed off. They're probably too concerned with having a really nice view while they condescend to others. Shoving off guys like that is so easy. <laughs> I happen to know 17,082 ways to do that. The point is, the moment you cling to talent and hope, despair has already set in. That's not even an explanation. Then, what if you think about it like this? It turns out that you guys being ultimate despair was just part of the game world. And in truth, those guys from the Future Foundation might be part of the game world too. They're simply side characters of the game world whose role is to offer hopeless hope to you guys. Well, after saying all that, I don't even know what's real and what's a game anymore. Are you kidding, Will? Enough. My patience is wearing thin. Let's hurry and start the shutdown sequence already. Before you do that, we gotta do some reviewing. <clears throat> when you guys activate the shutdown, you'll revert back to when you were known as Ultimate Despair. Why is always Hajime? Mm -hmm. And your dead friends will never be revived. 
and the embodiment of despair, aka me, will be erased, thereby preserving hope in the real world. Now then, will the hope of the future foundation win, or will my despair win? Everyone in this game says now then a lot. Now then! Starting. Starting. This isn't a game, you know. How contraire. This is a game. The game of hope and despair that started with your killing school life. That explains why these chunks who weren't around last time have been reduced to mere side characters. You called us chunks again. Only because it's true. Most importantly, the killing school trip wasn't just for your sake. What? There was a more important goal there. The goal of luring a specific group of people. Ah, since now's a great time, why don't we make that the question? Question? As long as we're in the game world, the rules say I gotta ask questions every now and then. So, question. Who did I lure and how did I do it? The hint is, I get bored easily. So the same outcome as the killing school life would be a pain in the ass. Okie dokie, let's all think about it together. Same outcome as the killing school life. I just have to remember what occurred there. People can go lured. Okay. Logic dive. I think I have the answers already to questions that are probably going to be asked. Yeah. Oh god, seven minutes plus? There's still only three fucking questions. There's still only three questions. Three fucking questions. Three ca fucking questions. I'm gonna. I'm gonna assume that they're gonna switch over. As you fall off the edge. Uh, I'm gonna assume that they're gonna switch over to this side. You need to jump, you dumbass. Fucking shut up. Shut up. Not there. Fine. Yeah. Just, just fucking go. No. Because I don't, I think it's going to fucking break off. I have a feeling it's going to break off. You if don't, I don't know until you fucking try. Okay, here we go. If it doesn't break off at all, I'm going to be really pissed at you for wasting all that time. You wasted two minutes almost. It's not like it matters. You dumbass. <laughs> it's not like it matters. It broke off on the other side. Yeah, really. And you still fucked How did it. I fall through that? You didn't. You weren't on it. I fell Use through Use your it. jumping capabilities. It's boring. You're boring. Your face is boring. Your face is stupid. You're gonna become a despair. I'm gonna become a singular despair. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna become Junko because she's the only singular despair. Mm. That's fucking stupid. I don't want to become a whatever she is. A Junko? A giant woman. Who did Junko want to lure? <laughs> mm. That's that's wrong. I'm telling you now that's wrong. Really? Well, I thought that makes sense. That does make sense actually. That makes a lot of sense. Ugh. How am I a dunce? Because that question was obvious. Was it now? Yes. Uh, uh, slalom! You, you went into that one immediately. Yeah, I could barely react that quickly. Yeah! Go! Time for the jumping! Time for the jumping! Alright. What bait was used to lure? Uh. Fuck you, diamonds! Beautiful like diamonds in the night. Okay. Okay. No. You lucky son of a bitch. Jeez. 
these logic dive segments, man. Now we gotta spin. Shing. Shing. Fucking. Shing. All the way. To. Your fucking. Stardom. <laughs> Junkers used the force. What did Junko use to force them to watch the killings? They're all the s r snow. One surveillance camera and one surveillance caramel. <laughs> They're not all the same. They're all surveillance equipment. Surveillance camera? Isn't it his equipment for surveillance? It's just not a camera. Also, surveillance caramel? Yes, it's a delicious treat that you lure someone into watching you make. You're a weirdo. Blue, yellow, yellow. Blue, yellow, yellow, blue. Or this is not shooting stars. <laughs> Got it. You use the surveillance cameras. You were trying to lure the future foundation by showing them the footage you were recording, weren't you? Yep. The surveillance cameras? That's what they were being used for? In the previous killing school life, the surveillance camera footage was broadcast outside of the school. the cameras that were placed throughout the entire island for the same purpose. Ding, ding, ding. I was broadcasting the Killing School trip live to every member of the Future Foundation. <sighs> the footage you recorded with the surveillance cameras was shown to the Future Foundation? What shall I do? I did a lot of disgraceful things in front of those cameras. Um, yeah, like silently fart before Nagito was killed. Fan service. She was in a wetsuit. No, 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 no. She did a lot of disgraceful things in front of those cameras when nobody was looking. Oh. Uh, is what she means. Neato. <laughs> Soda's like, gonna respond to that, I guarantee it. Oh, he will. You sure did. <laughs> Biakuyo, oh, why were you watching that, that? Yeah, really. You come rescue us earlier. We tried to hack in many times, but the virus within the program blocked us at every turn. Not only that, the Neo World program stopped accepting shutdown commands from the outside. As a last resort, we considered cutting power to the program, but that would have also destroyed everyone inside too. We didn't know what would happen to the subjects if we cut the power while the program was still running. There's no way we'd jeopardize your safety by taking such a gamble. Even so. We kept trying over and over again until it was finally possible for us to enter the program just a short time ago. And you came all the way here when you knew it was a trap. I get it. You couldn't just leave them alone. If you saw people dying one by one with your own eyes by the same killing game you guys played, hope dictates that you act all high and mighty and say, Oh, I'm definitely gonna stop it this time, right? Hey. Don't tell me that's the reason you made us go through all this. Of course we made you do it for that reason. We orchestrated this game instead of killing you outright, solely to show it off to the Future Foundation. We were forced to solve puzzles and riddles just so you could show it off to the Future Foundation? That's why you guys are chumps. You're just the bait I used to catch a big fish called the Future Foundation. But it's not my fault, you know. This game is a fight between the Future Foundation and me. You guys were just instigators in the background. But you guys already knew that when you chose to play this game, right? Just one second, please! That sounds as though we... As though we wanted to come to this world of our own free will. But that's precisely the truth! Hmm. You guys chose oh. to be instigators, and you were willingly taking the That goes the back to the train scene. Program. To provide the opportunity I needed to push this battle between hope and despair into overtime. That's right. The reason the ultimate despairs began killing each other was set up by the group itself. That's just your imagination. Uh, naive Makoto totally fell for the trap. Oh, and now your face is filled with a lovely shade of despair. Oh, that despair is fucking obvious. You're here to rescue the assholes who set this up in the first place. Don't go blaming us for this! Thank you! 
It's all thanks to you guys. This time around, I might be able to fill these guys with despair. We do not feel despair. Even if this was all a trap, we will never regret coming here. And this is the only thing we could do to stop you. But nevertheless, it's all over. We will shut you down and end all of this. You're pretty fucking desperate. Oh, that's pretty fucking obvious. If you don't initiate the shutdown, those future Foundation fuckwits are gonna be trapped here forever. Trapped? Why would that happen? <laughs> Didn't I already explain it? You know, the graduation exam rule? Oh, they finally brought that one back. Mm-hmm. Graduation repeat. But that's not all, right? In order to pass the graduation exam, there was one more requirement. This is true. Because the teacher has to agree with it, too. Mm -hmm. I see. As I recall, we also need the teacher's final decision. Mm hmm. So that's. Wow, that actually does put them in a trap. She's never gonna Obviously, say yes. Obviously, there's no way I'd let the members of the Future Foundation graduate. So if you can't activate the shutdown, the Foundation will enter the endless life of repeating the grade. Hmm. That's only if the shutdown sequence doesn't activate, right? But that's impossible. Everyone here understands how dangerous it is to release you into the real world. We know that all too well. I mean, she's been bad mouthing us this whole time. Oh. Looks like we shouldn't have talked so much. Out of the mouth comes evil, so they say. It's true that we fell for this trap, and that we run the risk of not being able to go back. But what's wrong with that? Thinking we'd back down because of something like that is a huge mistake. That's my mind. Thinking your little shutdown plan will succeed is a huge mistake. Huh? You're totally overestimating those chumps over there. There's no way they'll start the shutdown sequence. Why not? Look up on their faces. They look like piglets who were forced to watch their mom roasting on a spit. There's no fucking way they'll initiate the shutdown just to go back to being ultimate despair. That is... well... Not wrong. Juko, I don't care what you say. I've decided to believe in everyone. It's true that they walked the wrong path before, but that's all in the past now. What I believe in is not their past, but their futures. <laughs> okay, seriously, can you stop creaming yourself in front of us, Junko? Please. Fall into despair. Hmm. Ah, wrong, wrong. I'm not the one who's gonna make you fall into despair. That's the mastermind's job, and they'll be appearing very soon. Mastermind? Huh? Mastermind? Someone else is coming? That can't be. It's just a bluff. You should never make the last character who appears in a detective story turn out to be the mastermind. And I almost fell into that pattern, so I was kind of worried about that. Enough already. What are you talking about? Oh well. Let's bring him out with lots what? of energy. It's Mr. Izuru Kamakura! Izuru Kamakura? The founder of Hope Speak Academy? The founder of Hope Speak Academy? Um. Why? A Dave of Dark Dist a dark Oh my god, a dark Dave of Destruction? <laughs> That's a lot. On the cover of a magazine. I see. Thanks for reading all the other options, Joe. That was totally pur purposeful. Isn't that the name of the founder of Hope's Peak Academy? It was written on the placard beneath the portrait of the Academy's founder. That name. It was definitely Izuru Kamakura, right? However, based on the information I know, the man known as Izuru Kamakura... If I recall, he's a super genius who acquired many talents. He was even called the ultimate Pope, right? Hmm? Does the founder have the same name as that ultimate Hope guy? 
Is that kind of coincidence even possible? So do you know all about coincidences? The future foundation might know something. What? How about it, Kyoko? Even within Hope's Peak Academy, there's very little information about a person called Izuru Kamakura. It's a mystery if such a person ever really existed. And not just that. The matter was closed without ever being settled because of that incident. The tragedy? If you do not know, the then please allow tragedy. me. Providing mm. hopelessly skilled explanations is a quirk of mine. The reason Izuru's existence continues to be such a mystery is because the Academy hid it. Why did the Academy hide his existence? If I recall, they were trying to protect their superior talent. They even called it Mankind's Hope, correct? However, that prodigious student ended up killing 13 student council members at Hope's Peak Academy. It was in Batman's book. The killer responsible <sighs> for Hope's Peak Academy's biggest, most awful event. Yup. And you're the one who set it up, right? Information about Izuru completely vanished after that incident. You thought Shunko and Ashima killed them? Oh, don't say such cruel things. Izuru Kamakura is very much alive. Isn't that right, Hajime? Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you too! I didn't spoil it! Fuck you! No, I didn't spoil it, so you can't be mad at me. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. You can't be mad at me. Fuck you! Fuck you! What? I... what? Fuck you. Like I said, you're Izuru Kamakura. Huh? Fuck you, fuck you, fuck Does you. that mean you're fuck literally you, fuck you, fuck Wait, you. that means you're literally the ultimate hope. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. That means there's two. Oh, right? Well no, technically Makoto's only the ultimate lucky student, but he can become the ultimate hope. He became the ultimate hope. So that means that both the protagonists both the ultimate hope. Both Does protagonists it is also that. Oh my god, if, if it's three for three... Well, no, she's the ultimate pianist. She can't become the ultimate hope. That's not how that works. What are you talking about? Makoto was the ultimate lucky student. Yeah, but you can't upgrade from piano to hope. <laughs> how do you know? Plus, why would they do that three fucking times in a row? I mean, you never know. It could be a three for three for... Monokuma's still in that game. It doesn't matter. Is, you, is Monami still in that game? Hold on! Seriously, what are you talking about? Liar! There's no way. There's no way Hajime is Izuru Kamukura. Izuru is that ultimate hope, right? But Hajime is. That's right. Hajime is one of those reserve force dropouts and has no talent whatsoever. But the fact that he's really Izuru Kamakura makes all this much more hopeless. God, fuck you! The big reveal has happened. Fuck you! Fuck you! Oh god, the game's lagging. Uh, fuck you! Good news, Hajime! Fuck you! Even though you were mocked for being a reserve force student, you get some health back. At least the game yeah, stopped getting glitched. Uh, hey Junko. Oh, uh, you want to fix your you wanna, body? You want to fix your phone body? How can someone from the reserve force? Don't look that way. Amazing talent. In order to hide Izuru's identity, is he hidden in the reserve force? I feel like I should have taken that actually. And Hajime's name is fake. There's no doubt I'm Hajime Hinata. I've always had that name ever since I was born. Then they changed and his name. Who is your fake name? Hey, you weren't lying to us, right? I do not want any more last-minute plot twists. It's too late. Could it be created hope? I think you need to agree with me.
Hmm. Oh! Good news, even though you're uh, yeah, I think you need to affirm the statement that Makoto said. Amazing talent. Oh, I'm thinking. Was he hidden in the in Hajime's? There's no doubt. I've always had that name. Then he's a real issue. Hey, you weren't. I did not want any. Could it be created? What? I did not want any more luck. Could it be created? Maybe you have to disprove something else? I don't fucking know. Such an amazing in order to hide Zuru's identity. Oh! They didn't hide his identity, maybe. In order to hide Zuru's identity. Nope, I don't know. Damn it! Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Even though you're a monster, it's either one of these two. How can someone have such an amazing in order to hide these zoos are dead? Yeah, so it's the other one. It has to be with this with that. I didn't try that yet. Time to skip through all the glitchiness. So we have 55 fear. seconds. It's fine. It's fine. It's everything's fine. If anything, I could just look at the evidence more. I do not want any more last minute. Created hope. No. Oh. Um. No. Oh, um, maybe you have to break the, you have to contradict the, um, oh, true hope. The true hope in the, go back to the file you found. Research, true hope. Try, try that on the, on the created hope thing. Yeah, that, that makes sense actually. Try that one. Do I even have that? I do. Okay. Even though you were well, I'm gonna see if I can try to make that time. You better get all the time you can. I got four sec, four seconds, two seconds. It's a good thing Chiaki gave me your cheat code. Yeah. Oh shit! You're down to 16 seconds. Oh, you stayed at 15. Like, yes, yeah. The two protagonists agree with each other. Each other. <laughs> Created hope. Are you talking about the hope cultivation plan? Hope cultivation plan. What is that? A while back, I saw a file kept by the Future Foundation. For many years, Hope's Peak Academy was researching a breakthrough plan to cultivate personal talent. It's true, it was a breakthrough plan. After all, it was a plan to create the perfect genius. Create? For the longest time, the Hope Cultivation Plan was the earnest wish of Hope's Peak Academy. In fact, that's why the Academy was established. Part of that plan was researching the talents of Ultimates. Because the plan was so important, they adopted the name of the Academy's founder. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I was trying not to burp, and that's what I got. <laughs> In your hand! I was trying not to burp at all. And that's what and happened. called it the Izuru Kamakura Project. Izuru Kamakura Project? Just a little while ago, they were finally able to reach the experimental stage of that plan. From there, they set their sights on the reserve course dropouts to use them as lab rats. Why did they use the reserve course as lab rats? A plan to create talent artificially requires test subjects that are wholly lacking in talent. From that group of reserve course students, the one who was finally chosen was... Hajime, who stands before you now. Why me? Because you admired Hope's Peak Academy more than anybody else. This is true. You still don't get it. You were used by the Academy. 
They exploited your feelings of admiration toward hope and talent just to use you as a lab rat. What? And that's what caused him to go to despair. See? Didn't I tell you? The moment you cling to talent and hope, despair has already set in. Lies! That's definitely a lie! Now, after many surprises, Hajime Hinata was transformed into Izuru 1.0! See, the thing is, it just sounds like Steven. She just sounds like Steven. She really does when she's talking like this. That's horribly mean. Transformed? What? That's mean. How is Steven? That? He doesn't sound like that. He sounds very similar to that. No. He sounds extremely similar to that. Also, are we talking about the same Steven here? I don't know. Are we? I'm talking about the one from Steven Universe. Oh! <laughs> I was talking about my roommate from last year. No, Steven. not that Steven. Oh, like, that's so mean. He doesn't sound like that at all. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, what the fuck? It doesn't sound anything like that. First of all, it does sound like Steven Universe's Steven. <laughs> I like, can, I can see that. Yeah, I know. Like, I was talking about the, your fucking roommate. Yeah, that would be rude. <laughs> I was like, he doesn't sound like that. Why would I just randomly mention your roommate? Well, why would you randomly mention Steven Universe? <laughs> They're equally valid statements. Mm. Unless you're willing to go to extremes, More people would know Steven Universe rather than Shush. your roommate. Into a perfect genius. So naturally, they went to extremes. S exposition, By man. By interfering with his brain, Hope's Peak Academy transformed Hajime Hinata into a completely different person whose specialty is talent itself, known as Izuru Kamakura. Eventually, Izuru became an ultimate despair, thanks to me. But all I did to Izuru was simply break his spirit. That's nothing compared to what Hope's Peak Academy did to him. Not even close. Seriously. It's scary how determined the researchers were to mess with the human brain that much. Doing such inhumane acts that nobody else is capable of with such a calm mind and a steady hand. I admire it so much, it makes my mind numb. By the way, you're just a simple avatar right now. So even if you touch your head, you won't feel the scar. Did they really do something like that? Her hair is despairing. What? Her hair was her hair was like woof. Yeah, it did then the first game. The read to continue. I d I'm just I'm just trying to validate your stupid statements. <laughs> Why? He's not Hajime. He's a completely different person whose specialty is talent itself. <laughs> Different person? How is he different? All the senses, emotions, thoughts, and hobbies that interfere with acquiring talent have been excised. Huh? All of his memories of the past have been forcefully suppressed into the darkest recesses of his mind. Huh? Emotions, thoughts, hobbies? He doesn't even have a memory? It sounds like he is a completely different person. That's what she just said. So that's why it's so surprising that Hachime even exists here at all. Even if he's just an avatar. The Neo World program must have dug up those memories and rebuilt his old personality from data from the past. I cannot help but feel impressed that the Neo World program was able to accomplish such a feat. But as for Hachime, he probably would have been better off if he stayed erased. Then, when Hajime returns to his original state after the shutdown, he'll disappear. D disappear All that will remain is Izuru Kamakura, an entirely different personality created by Hope Speak Academy. He will no longer be Hajime Hinata. Oh, shit, she's got him. He's gonna disappear. Disappear. Just like the game is trying to do. And with that, the game just blew up. He couldn't process his thoughts any longer. Oh god. Oh shit. No, that's definitely him. That's your line. Yep, it's definitely him. But no matter what happens, it is of no concern to me. I will not be able to participate in what lies ahead. Mm, really? 
I don't really understand, but... I guess we have to part ways for a while. This is disappointing. We seem to get along, so, get along pretty well. Hey, can I see you again? There's no reason to meet again. After all, you are boring. Your talent, your thoughts, your entire existence is boring to me. You really don't play along, do you? How was he seeing that from third person? <laughs> no, that's, that's not me! That's what you are. That's who Izuru Kamakura is. You're the one who brought me into this world. You're Izuru Kamakura. See, remember, he said he brought it with him. Mm -hmm. He brought a USB with him. Mm -hmm. And plopped her into the thing. Mm -hmm. Could it be? The one who uploaded you into the Neo World program was... It's not me! Just so you know, as long as your brain has been messed with, you can't undo it no matter how hard you try. <laughs> have no way to be saved, you say? But you already know what you must do. Yeah, you do. Choose graduate, choose repeat, become the blackened. Submit to Junko. Pick one. In that case, the Hajime avatar will be uploaded into his real body. So, Hajime will be safely reborn. Truly a royal road to a hopeless, happy ending. Hold on. You can't do that. Uh, if you do that, everyone who died will be taken over by Junko's alter ego. Like, if you guys don't start the shutdown, the future foundation will be trapped here. I can't allow the future foundation to sacrifice themselves for the ultimate despairs. Jeez, you should have said so before. You guys aren't honest at all. That's not it. What we're saying is, we have to protect the world from despair, you say? Okay, okay, that's getting so old. Do you really have to sacrifice yourselves just to protect the world in the first place? What if the world's hope is different from your hope? Even if the world is happy, it's meaningless if you aren't happy. That's... Plus, the Future Foundation wants to kill all the Ultimate Despairs, right? Once you go back to being Ultimate Despair, the Future Foundation's punishment time will activate. It would be absolutely dreadful if that were to happen. Not just dreadful. It's rather fucking hopeless, don't you think? <laughs> And can you guys even endure that? Everything that happened here will just end up being a meaningless game. Everything you felt, awe, friendship, love, there won't even be save data left of it. The girl you love and the guy you hate grow weaker and skinnier each day they lay immobilized. And in Hajime's case, his very existence is going to disappear, all because of the academy he loves so much. That she's right. Well, that's why she, that's why she's played in despair. That's how she does it. Will you be able to endure such despair? Who are you going to endure it for? For people you've never met before? For people who don't even appreciate you? Does that sound like hope to you? You can't believe her. That's how she works. That's what she does. So she can lure you all toward despair. There is no reason to listen to her. Hurry up and start the shutdown. Oh, hold on. What is it? Why are we still waiting? Do you still not understand what's going to happen to the real world if Junko escapes? No, I, I was just... How many victims do you think the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is claimed? Right now, it's finally started to calm down. If Junko Inoshima makes it to the real world, countless victims will fill the streets. The world will regress to an era of bloodshed, chaos, and worldwide rioting. So that's why you're telling them to start the shutdown sequence? To prevent that? 
that would make me pick it. You're telling to be honest. them to turn back into ultimate despair and lose all the memories they made in this world. Even among them, there are those who will simply cease to exist. And you're telling them to just deal with it? At this point, this is the only way. No, no, no. There is another way. As long as they choose to graduate, they can pass along their avatar's memories, and everyone here will be able to hold hands and keep on living. Well, everyone who died will be taken over by me, but don't you think that's a better fate than being a vegetable for the rest of their life? You guys, you can't buy into this. Think carefully about which is true hope. And which is true despair. Um, what shall we do? You're asking us? You're telling us to decide? Damn it! Why'd it turn out like this? What does Akane look like in her fucked up version? If everyone can overcome despair... Uh, well, you only have one bullet! You guys should be able to grasp true hope! Oh God! If our memories up until now what is your health I will not doing? Even remember. Just the health. The reason everybody died. Are you really going to let her take over your friends' bodies? You might think I'm a fool, but I want to see Pecker one more time. If we turn back into ultimate despair. The Future Foundation might kill us, right? We won't let them do that. This is all the Future Foundation's fault. They're the ones who stuck us in this messed up world! For your protection. If Jinko escapes to the real world, there will be countless victims again. Uh, I know, but... Everyone's hope is in conflict. Such despair! You can't shoot. I can't shoot hope. You literally couldn't I literally couldn't shoot despair I can't do it huh I can't do it I can't choose you guys are telling us the world's going to be destroyed unless we sacrifice ourselves and that I can't decide I can't choose either one Hajime shut up leave me alone this this is just too much why do I why do I have to be a part of this? I mean, I'm different from the rest of you. And I don't even have a talent. But even so, I got dragged into this. And now, my existence is going to disappear? <laughs> I don't understand it at all. Both choices are hopeless. How much of ourselves do we have to sacrifice? This burden. Don't you dare make us shoulder it. There's no way we can handle this on our own. Everyone, get a hold of yourselves. It's impossible! For someone like me, it's impossible. I can't choose the future! Hope, despair, do whatever you want. It's not my problem! That's... And there's no answer. So you've chosen to make no choice at all. Jeez. Once again, this went exactly as I expected. I get so hopelessly bored when everything goes according to plan. Oh well, since I have everyone's data, I kind of figured things would play out like this. That is, unless something else hopelessly unpredictable happens. Well, I can say that, but the chance of something convenient happening is hopeless. After all, this is a game. A world where everything progresses with predetermined harmony. Fine, I guess it's okay. You don't have to force yourself to make a choice. A futureless future. Hm, I think it's fine if that exists too. As long as you don't yearn for hope, you'll never fall victim to despair. That goes for me too. As long as I don't yearn for despair, 
I'll never need to hope for it. So, let's all free ourselves from this curse and stay here as the best of friends. Let's immerse ourselves in this tropical island life forever and ever. Forever and ever. And ever 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 and ever.